guys, welcome back to the studio. I am currently reading a book called Rest by Alex Sojun Kim Pang. And I found a quote that said something between the lines of creativity doesn't promote work, work promotes creativity. Routine creates a landing space for the muse. I thought this quote was so extraordinary and legitimate, incredible way to describe an artist's improvement journey. So I thought I'd tell you how my art improved more in the past two years than in the last 10 altogether. January 2021 was the year that I got enough art commission to cover for my salary that I was making with two different online shops. It was my starting point. The starting point that built up what I have today, that I'm able to sell months in advance. But my art didn't look anything like what it does now, back then. When I started selling commissions, my work didn't have the quality of being easily marketable. It was still missing a lot of fundamentals and knowledge. And I'm not saying that I already got that. But any professional artist could tell if they saw the work I was selling. I was also a lot slower and was charging a lot less back then. But that's exactly how things work. It's a big ladder that you have to climb with time, patience, and more importantly, consistency. Back in May this year, a very special teacher from my graphic design degree invited me to give a presentation about my whole four-year freelance journey at my old university to their students. Hopefully in ways to inspire them to follow their goals, even if they look unrealistic in our society's perspective, especially in my country. Uh, Artists do not like really thrive in my country. And on the making of that presentation, I noticed for the first time how much my art had improved in the one year that I was making art commissions. That was the moment I realized that the real secret to an artist improvement is focusing on quantity over quality as a beginner artist. To put it simply, if you're a beginner artist, focus on doing a lot of art instead of trying to do the perfect artwork. Allow yourself to fully explore your creative process without a destination assigned. This also applies trying to force to have an art style in the beginning. You kind of need to learn the rules first. And sometimes learning the rules and making progress is not taking infinite classes on anatomy and perspective or color theory and lighting. Sometimes learning comes from chasing that improvement by doing a lot of work. I know this is probably gonna sound controversial, but from my perspective, beginner artists don't have enough practice to apply what is taught in art classes in a lot of cases. For example, even the observation skill, that is a very important skill, by the way, is not refined enough to fully understand how to apply the contents acquired. So for very beginner artists, setting small goals such as one drawing every day or five minute sketches can make such a big difference after a long period of time. Disclaimer, I'm obviously not saying that you're going to do this without references. Drawing every day from our imagination is probably not gonna make you improve and will most likely harm your motivation because you're not gonna see actual improvement. Movement. You're not going to magically learn how to draw stuff if you don't stop to observe it. So using references, something to get your base off is very crucial. I was using references every single day of those commissions. You must look at other artists' work, real life references, and don't be afraid to copy. Not in a thief's way, but in a productive way in a, I am going to copy and learn from this way. Not, I am going to copy, post, and not give credit to the original artist. That's... During this process and method, at times, you are gonna have stagnant moments too. But as one of my favorite books says, Atomic Habits, 1% each day will build up and make any plateau go up more effectively once it takes off. 
Whereas if you didn't do small bits of work consistently every day, you wouldn't even reach a plateau to begin with. Reaching a plateau means that you had to improve to become stagnant. So it means improvement. It is important to keep going and not giving up. For example, just like in the gym, right? You gotta go there every day and do your reps to see improvement. And it's gonna take time. Building muscle takes a lot of time. Building skill takes time. But if you don't do it, you're not gonna improve. Those reps must be done, so do them. And this is the moment that I'd like to bring up the quote from Rest again. You know, the first book. Creativity doesn't promote work, work promotes creativity. Routine creates a landing space for the muse. Why am I bringing this up? You're not gonna feel inspired or motivated to draw every day. And for some people, that's like a decisive factor why they do not put work out every day. I am not motivated. I am not inspired. Art block. <clears throat> but this is where discipline takes charge. This is another controversial thing to say, but you don't need intrinsic motivation or inspiration to do art. You just need routine. At this stage, remember that you're not worried with the final results of your art. You're not worried with being consistent with an art style. You're not worried about serving a purpose. You're worrying about putting those reps to improve. You are focusing on doing something, even if it's bad. And spoiler alert, it is going to be bad. You're going to have terrible art days. You're going to have days that you're going to look at your art. You're going to want to give up. But uh, you need to accept that you're going to have terrible days. Because otherwise, you're not going to do anything ever. You're not going to be consistent at all. And you're not going to see improvement. Everyone has to fail a little bit to come back better. That's how mental breakdowns work. That's why they exist. So you can fall off a cliff. And when you get back up, damn, you had to climb that shit back up again. You need to improve. Hello, one plus one equals two. Easy peasy. This is kind of the curse of perfectionism. You know, perfectionism is the biggest weapon for self-sabotaging. You convince yourself into not doing it today, ever, because you know it's not gonna be perfect or you don't have the perfect environment to do it. You think that the planets must be aligned for you to work towards your big dreams because you're so insecure and afraid. You're not gonna reach your own expectations that you end up doing nothing. So you don't get disappointed. I legitimately know how hard it is to not meet your expectations with your art. It hurts. It's painful because it's something that comes from deep within. But it's better done than not done. You don't need the perfect you don't need the perfect environment to do stuff and to make things happen. Remember that most people in really successful positions started in really unfavorable conditions. As for my personal experience, I've been drawing 7 to 10 characters a week for the past almost two years. And not a single week I allowed my work to depend on intrinsic motivation and inspiration and planets aligned. When I was not inspired, I scrolled Pinterest until I was. I'd look at other artists until I was. I watched art videos until I was. And with work, routine and habits piled up together, inspiration comes. That's the thing. When it comes to work, this is what it is. You just gotta do what you gotta do. You end up learning how to create inspiration, how to forge it out of your discipline. You stop waiting for inspiration to be created out of thin air and serve your goals and purposes and moments. So check it out. Uh, I'm gonna show you what two years of reps, discipline, consistency, and routine did to my art. So I'd like to challenge you to set a goal that you're going to follow consistently. A goal that is realistic for you, not a goal forced out of your ass. And the only 
requirement is that you find a way into inserting art daily into your routine. Do that for one or two months and look at the results you're going to achieve. Do not forget to use references. After that month, you're not going to need me to tell you to keep drawing every day. So if you're still here, I want to make a little disclaimer before finishing the video. Uh, not every art journey must be like this. And even though this is kind of a cheat code to improve, blah, 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 clickbait. <laughs> you don't need to force yourself into doing something and drawing every single day if you really don't want to. You can find ways to improve at your own pace. What I mean by this video is that for me, I've been drawing since I was like zero years old, more focused on digital art the past 15 years. And uh, 10 years of digital art didn't make so much of a difference as the past two years did. Trust me, I didn't like most of the art that I sold. It was good enough for my clients and it was good enough for business. So I just kept doing it. Either way, this is how just things work for me. And this is a very business inclined approach. Personal artwork and art for business are two different separate worlds. What I mean is... Not everyone has the same goals and not everyone has to have the same goals and not everyone must want to improve their art at light speed. And uh, this does not mean that it is a better way to do things, nor you're gonna be more successful because of this improvement. The real concept of success, in my opinion, with art is that you're happy and doing art makes you happy. That's the only thing that matters. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Mwah.